Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to make a clone of your operating hard drive in Linux using a program called Clonezilla. So what we're going to do is we're going to clone the uh, operating system hard drive onto a different hard drive, and then we're going to take that hard drive, put it in a different computer, and start it up. You could also do this if you want to, uh, you know, move to a bigger hard drive within Linux and have that be your main hard drive and just replace your smaller one. Or if your hard drive is failing, you know, you could do this type of thing to uh, make a backup clone copy of the operating system and then use that for the hard drive. So what we're going to do here, we have the uh, Clonezilla website, and there's the Ubuntu and Debian-based uh, versions of it. So what you want to do is you want to download it, make a bootable drive, either an ISO file or a flash drive or whoever you like to boot your uh, computer with. And then once you boot it, uh, you'll go through the cloning process. It's not done via the operating system. So you can see on this computer here, we have the SDA, which is 50 gigs. That's our operating system drive. Then we have this SDB, which is 60 gigs. So that's the one that we're going to clone from this 50 gig to this 60 gig drive. And then we'll take the 60 gig drive out of here, put it in a new computer, start it up, and see if it loads uh, Linux. So what we're going to have to do for that is shut this one down so we could reboot it with the uh, Clonezilla software. Okay, so we got this menu here with the different options on it. And you have automatic boot in 25 seconds. So what we want to do here is we're going to pick just the Clonezilla Live VGA, the first one. All right, so you want to pick your language, press Enter. Uh, keyboard configuration, Enter. Okay, so now we want to start Clonezilla. Okay, so we're going to do a device-to-device -device, uh, cloning here. So pick Enter on that. Okay, we're going to do the beginner mode and accept the defaults. You could try the expert mode if you want. Okay, we're doing disk to disk, so we're going to do the whole disk with all the partitions. Okay, so now we want to choose the uh, source. Now, this is where you can't mess things up. So here's our 50 gig, here's our 60 gig. I don't know why it's reading it as 53, but, you know, close enough. So we're going to pick the 50 gig as the source. And then the only other option is the 60 gig for the target. And then if you want to have it uh, check and repair the source file, you could do that. We're just going to do the uh, skip checking for the sake of time. And then for partition table, use the partition table from the source. That's what we want to do so it'll uh, boot up properly. And then when you're done, it'll you can either have it automatically uh, go to the command prompt, reboot or shut down. We're going to have it ask us, so we'll click OK. And then press Enter to continue. And then after a couple prompts here, I'm sure you want to continue, because it's saying all data will be lost on the uh, destination disk. So you might want to do a backup just in case you know you pick pick the wrong one. And then say yes to this. Overwritten. Okay, so you see a couple screens like this where it'll go by quick and then it'll get to the one where it's going to take some time. All right, this section will take some time, so we'll pause it and then come back when it's uh, finished with this part of it. Okay, doing the next step.
Okay, so process is complete, press enter. So now the option here, so we're going to power off, then I'll take this hard drive out of this computer, put it in a new computer and try and start it up and see what happens. So I'll be back for that. Okay, starting up the uh, other computer with the cloned hard drive. All right, here's our desktop. So let's see what we got here. So here's our 60 gig disk. So it worked out pretty well here. So a uh, pretty simple process. You just got to be careful when you do it that you're not uh, overriding the wrong disk. So I'll put a link in the description so you could download the version that'll work best for your Linux installation and you could try and clone your hard drive and see how it works right. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.